What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Today I'm going to be breaking down why Urshifu is the best Pokemon in Regulation D. Now I do want to preface this with saying that um, I'm very congested, uh, my allergies are getting the best of me so if at any point during this video I like completely plug up my nose and I sound different, I'm sorry, we're just going to have to roll with it. But yeah. Uh, we're going to be discussing Urshifu, why it is like the highest used Pokemon in the format right now, why it's amazing, and how despite getting a nerf in Generation 9, uh, it still remains at the top of the metagame. So if you enjoy this standpoint in time, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, comment question of the day, which is, what would you use to beat Urshifu? Anyways, uh, I'm going to be discussing like the broader metagame that Urshifu exists in. We have like a box of some of the top Pokemon. Uh, and I'm going to be explaining how Urshifu is useful basically into every single one of these and why its ability probably needs a nerf. I actually made a whole YouTube short about it. So yeah, first let's talk about uh, the individual Urshifus because I think that Urshifu Rapid Strike is better right now. However, Urshifu Dark does see some representation in the metagame uh, here and there. Uh, let me see if I can actually find an Urshifu Dark team. This one looks like, yeah, that doesn't look like it could be Urshifu Dark. This one might be. Uh, no, I, I'm going to be hard pressed to find an Urshifu Dark team, but there was one that topped the ladder uh, a few weeks ago or like about a week ago that I ran uh, and it had Choice Band Urshifu Dark. So I, I still want to mention that because I think that right now with Urshifu Rapid Strike being like the best Pokemon, Urshifu Dark does have um, some room to grow and I think people will figure out that it's still just as good as it was before. So yeah, Urshifu Rapid Strike is number one compared to, the, you know, everything else, but uh, it's between like Urshifu Rapid Strike and Single Strike, Urshifu Rapid Strike is the better one. Uh, and I've gotten this question a few times as to why it's the better one. And it's almost entirely due to the fact that Surging Strikes is a very, very funny move. I'm going to use the move that made someone mad in the comments before. Uh, it's a stupid move. And when I say stupid in VGC, I mean that it's very good. If something is stupid, that means you should be using it. So Urshu Rapid Strike is a stupid Pokemon. Uh, Surging Strikes is 25 base power. You have eight of them in a game. You only need to click it once to KO most things, uh, but it hits three times, right? So that's 75 base power times 1.5 because of crits. What is that? Half of 75 is like 37. So 75 plus 37 is 112 base power. That is a very powerful move. Um, it's also the same power as Wicked Blow because they nerf Wicked Blow. But yeah, 75 base power is very, very strong. Uh, 112 base power is very strong. Uh, but the fact that it has two other things going for it, the 100% crits means that Pokemon that boost their defenses via either an Intimidate, you know, effectively boosting your defense by dropping Urshifu's attack step, uh, or an Iron Defense or a Reflect, Urshifu Rap uh, Rapid Strike will ignore all of those. There are actually only a few ways to lower the power of a move that always crits, and that's going to be Friend Guard which only a few Pokemon have. So Mousehold stocks technically up, uh, unless it gets close combated. Uh, there is Tablets of Ruin. So Wo Chen stocks up unironically. It's actually very good. In fact, I want to mention that in the later part of the video. And I believe the last one is just Burn. So anything with like Will-O-Wisp or whatever. Yeah, you can burn this guy. But yeah, um, I might be missing one. So yeah, it, it ignores literally everything else. Intimidate, you know, Iron Defense boost, uh, everything else. Yeah, so... I'm going to keep Wo Chen there for the later discussion. Uh, yeah, so it is very, very powerful. Water in fighting is also very difficult for things to switch into. If you resist water moves, um, there's a good chance you don't resist fighting moves. Uh, I think that the only Pokemon that can do this in the current metagame that like is able to resist both of those uh, are going to be Pokemon along the lines of like a Moongus, like these uh, grass and poison types. There's probably another type out there that I'm forgetting about. Like, I don't know, a Terra Poison... Um, a Terra Poison Gastrodon technically could do this too. But yeah, the way that you're mostly going to want to deal with Urshifu Rapid Strike is going to be via Amoongus with like a Rocky Helmet or throwing a Rocky Helmet onto like some other thing because Surging Strikes hits three times. You take that like chip damage at the end of each at the end of each hit. Like that's like really, that's a really solid way of dealing with it. Like that's like the one way to do it. Like having an effective way of just redirecting the attack. Um, but for the most part, the better way of dealing with Urshifu Rapid Strike is going to be to KO it. And you need to do it fast, and Urshifu Rapid Strike pairs very well with good speed control Pokemon and redirection Pokemon, so a well-played Urshifu Rapid Strike has very little counterplay. So yeah, uh, that is a big reason why it's good. Uh, also, when I say very little counterplay, 
let's talk about the ability unseen fist unseen fist is an ability that makes it so if you're using a contact move your attacks go through protect which is stupid please allow me to use that word again it is a stupid ability that should be nerfed it should have been nerfed in gen 9 um i'm firmly in the camp of unseen fist should still hit through protect but it should have some form of reduced damage whether it be 50 percent i'm technically on the you know one fourth damage train but it should have some reduction in the damage in in one way or another so i think that that's actually a, a good workaround for allowing earth your rapid strike to maintain the niche of hitting through protect while still not having it have like such little counterplay uh also because unseen fist requires you to make contact the punching glove is not advised because you lose your ability also the protective pads um wait hold on i actually don't know if protective pads like stops you from technically making contact or protected from adverse contact effects the pick it, it, it doesn't say that it doesn't make contact so i'm gonna say that that probably doesn't do it but yeah uh you for the most part you want to run the mystic water is my point uh the mystic water is a very powerful item for urge for rapid strike because it's mostly going to be clicking that surging strikes into everything uh that 25 base power you know if we have 75 times 1.2 let me pull out my handy and dandy calculator if i could get that open i did not have this ready sorry i do not script out these uh these very quick discussion videos also the calculator doesn't want to go it gets an increase in power okay so it gets stronger someone's going to comment down below the actual math i don't care uh it's going to make your surging strikes more reliably ko things so that is very nice um as i had stated before the best way to deal with urshi rapid strike is proper speed control and just koing it but uh people have been pairing urshi rapid strike with tornadus because tornadus does have you know access to the covert cloak meaning that you can't fake it out uh and also prankster tailwind so now this pokemon that had 97 base speed is actually going to be much faster 163 at plus two is enough to outspeed iron bundle after a uh after its booster energy speed boost so uh, that's gonna like, like close combat into that thing uh, on top of that most most not all but uh most urshu rapid strike are running terra water right now uh, because that's going to allow you to once again power up that surging strikes with that which has very little counterplay and if you pair that with rain dance on tornadus most things just get blown up and it's very difficult to deal with this thing once your like check is just blown up so yeah uh that is that is urshu rapid strike in a nutshell why it's like good very briefly uh urshifu single strike has all of those same properties However, it sees less usage because dark and fighting, as good of coverage as that is, you're hitting like psychic types and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of fairies in this metagame. And if there's one thing Urshifu Single Strike didn't like, it, it was fairy types. So the way that I've seen it be used most is still with like, um, you know, max speed, max attack, but I've actually seen more adamant choice ban than anything. Uh, and it actually has the benefit of this, where Urshifu Single Strike with a choice band adamant wicked blow is just going to one shot Cresselia meaning that Cresselia has to Terra to get its trick room off now I know what you're saying you know why doesn't the Cresselia just Terra and get its trick room off well the thing is usually next to that Cresselia is an Ursaluna which does not want to be close combated meaning that it would have to Terra defensively which they don't tend to run a defensive Terra that helps them out that much in that situation uh to not get KO'd through its protect because a very common turn one for these Cresselia Ursaluna teams is protect plus you know uh is protect plus trick room uh the existence of the Urshifus in my opinion has been what has kept Ursaluna down in usage where it would be otherwise it is a very difficult barrier for you know bear barrier for the bear to deal with it is a difficult load to bear as a bear uh, that uh, that's the reason the bear doesn't see as much usage as, as the other two bears this is a bear metagame we are in a bear market when it comes to physical attacking bears uh yeah so urshfu single strike rapid strike they both deal with ursa luna uh and they hit everything very hard and this metagame is not very physically defensive let's take a look at some of the highest used pokemon in the format chen pao not physically defensive at all it can eat a hit but like you know nothing around it's gonna eat that hit ursa luna pretty physically defensive doesn't like dealing with these guys enamorous not physically defensive at all unless it gets a defiant boost or not, unless it gets a contrary boost from its superpower 
Thunderous has to invest heavily to live these attacks. Tornadus needs to invest heavily to live these attacks. Heatran gets one shot by both of them because even though it's a very physically defensive, it gets one shot. Cresselia gets absolutely one shot by Urshifu Dark, but it can deal with them if it Terra's. His Sui and Gudra is unironically one of the best ways of dealing with the Urshifus because it has the ability Shell Armor, which means no crits for you and it can Iron Defense boost in front of them. Or actually not Iron Defense, technically it runs Shelter or if you're being optimal Acid Armor, which is hilarious by the way. Um, so his Sui and Gudra has been a way that people have been dealing with uh, opposing Urshifu because they just Acid Armor body press them uh, and Shell Armor prevents the crits from mattering. So you actually can beat these guys. Uh, Landorus Therian gets absolutely one shot by these guys, uh, most of the time. It can be bulky enough to live the hit. As a matter of fact, Rocky Helmet special attack in Landorus Therian is a thing that you can run to beat some variants of Ursa, not Ursa Luna, uh, some variants of, um, why am I, Ur Urshifu, I almost said Ursa Luna again. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Intimidate doesn't matter. Rillaboom is actually very solid into these guys. Uh, it, it does have access to, like, fake out U-turn and stuff. Uh, and into the water uh, Urshifu, it's especially very good because you can just go for like a drum beating into it and uh, deal a significant amount of damage. If not, just one shot it with Wood Hammer in Grassy Terrain. Uh, and that Grassy Terrain also allows your partners to live the hit very well. Regieleki is kind of a tricky one to describe. Uh, it's very fast, but it doesn't see as much usage because uh, Urshifu can just, you know, get Tailwind up and then outspeed it. Uh, which is not good for Regieleki because Urshifu Rapid Strike can one-shot it through its Focus Sash. Uh, Regieleki would have to run like a Choice Scarf to reliably beat uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike. However, that still leaves the vulnerability to Urshifu Single Strike uh, because Urshifu Single Strike can just one-shot it with a Sucker Punch. So like that is, and also just Choice Scarf Regieleki is not a good set. I've had it be recommended to me a few times to beat the Urshifus. It's not a good idea. You still want that Focus Sash. Like, it is still Regieleki's best item, in my opinion. So, yeah, no, don't do not do that. It's not worth it. Amoongus is arguably the best answer for these guys. However, uh, that Rocky Helmet Rage Powder set that people run to beat it, especially since, you know, it has Regenerator, it can just swap in, or swap out and swap back in to uh, get that health back. Um, because it relies on Rage Powder for redirection, technically, the Urshifus can, and Urshifu Water especially will do this sometimes, will actually run a Terra Grass set uh, to bypass that and allow them to not only lose their electric weakness and their like fairy weakness, but also not care about the fact that the uh, the rage powder is going off and they don't have to like even they, like the Amoongus is a non-issue at that point. Nothing Amoongus does is is something that matters to Terra Grass uh, Pokemon at all. So yeah, that is that is very nice for that. Uh, and the last one I want to talk about is Wo Chen, which is unironically pretty decent to these guys. Uh, I do recommend Terra Water if you're going to do that. Not Terra Steel, Terra Water. Uh, and the reason that's good is because where, like, other Pokemon, like Hisui Gudra, protect itself from the crits and stuff and, like, the damage, uh, Wo Chen is a benevolent god, and he will actually protect its partners as well. What a loving, what a loving snail, uh, because Tablets of Ruin drops everything's attack stat, and this, the, the Ruinous abilities don't care about crits. It's, it's the raw stat that goes down, so yeah. Uh, that is a very powerful tool to have in this situation. So yeah, I mean, Urshu Rapid Strike beating screens and like everything is just like really, really good. Um, yeah, you can understand why these Pokemon have been dominating the metagame. Uh, and I just want to talk about like some top cut results. You can see that Urshifu, both variants are like heavily overrepresented. Like we're going to scroll until we see, let's go with five teams five teams once we get to the fifth team that doesn't have an urshu we'll stop scrolling so here's one it's neil's team here's two it was uh pengi's team that he actually told me about his and gudra which is a counter urshifu by the way that's how you beat urshifu um let's keep going so we have two teams so far right next one has an urshifu 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 no urshifu so we're at three um no urshifu four urshifu 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 Urshifu, no Urshifu, five. So it took 18 teams to get a sample size of five non-Urshifu teams. That is a pretty good way to gauge how good a Pokemon is. And you can see what sort of archetypes it fits on. It is a very good hyper offense Pokemon, but it also fits onto a lot of balance. You can see that this uh, hyper offense team with like the Chen Pao Dragonite um, Urshifu team 
uh, it won the whole thing. You know, booster energy, Flutterbane, that sort of thing. Like that, that is obviously like what you would expect Urshifu to be on, what you expect it to do well into. Same thing here. Um, but there are also these balance teams that Urshifu fits pretty well onto. Let me find one of those. I would say that where'd it go? It's like it's like those Cresky Heatran teams. Uh, I can't really find one in this tournament, but I, I suppose this would be a, a decent example. Um, eh, maybe not. Maybe this is just still hyper offense. But you see, like, Terra Water, Golden Go. We see, uh, you know, Baxcalibur, Arshfu, uh, Rapid Strike. And then we have, like, Thunderous, Landorus, and Moongus. Like, this is a pretty bulky team, right? Like, you can actually play slower teams with the Urshfu Rapid Strike because it's just, like, a tool. Like, I actually have a team that I've been running for a little bit. Um... And I'm not going to spoil a lot about it because it's a team that I like quite a bit. But it is a stall team. It is a Parish Trap team. But I have an Urshifu on here because playing Parish Trap is a lot easier when you remove one Pokemon immediately. So by having this hyper offensive Pokemon on these defensive teams, it makes it easier for these defensive teams to play for their win con. So that's like another use case for Urshifu. You can see in like the hyper offense showdown live that we did with the Hisuian um, Typhlosion, we did use that Urshifu single strike because... Being able to remove a Pokemon through Protect with like the limited counterplay that it has is just good. It is impossible for this Pokemon to be bad when it hits through Protect. I think that that's like the main thing about this Pokemon that needs to be nerfed. So yeah, I mean like I, I would go more in depth as to why it's like the best Pokemon, but I think I've made the case for it. I've basically explained how it is a one size fits all Pokemon that fits onto a lot of like archetypes. There's Rapid Strike Urshifu. I want to see like what's like the only single strike Urshifu. It might all be Rapid Strike. But I do think that both are actually quite good. Here it is. There's one. We found one. It is it is on this one. It is the uh and that makes sense actually. Uh if it's run next to a stone jitter, then yeah, Urshifu single strike is gonna do stupid damage. So yeah, there, there's there's our one example of the single strike. Anyways. Uh, this was a nice little, you know, overview of why Urshifu does well into everything in this metagame. Uh, ways that you can beat it, some ideas for archetypes you might want to run it on. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.